Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about concentric versus eccentric versus isometric contractions. And I'm going to be talking about them in terms of muscular contractions and weightlifting. So if you lift weights, if you want to be fit, then you should definitely watch this video because I'm going to be explaining something that is greatly important in terms of weightlifting, resistance training, and building muscle. So pay attention. There are three different types of muscular contractions, okay? I'm going to make it as simple and as easy to understand as possible. Concentric, eccentric, and isometric. Now let's just imagine that we're talking about my bicep muscle right here, okay? A concentric contraction would be when you shorten the muscle. So if I was bringing my arm from down here, and I'll demonstrate with a dumbbell very shortly, but I'm just going to show you without a dumbbell first. If I was bringing my arm from down here to up here, I would be shortening my bicep muscle. That would be a concentric muscular contraction. Now an eccentric muscular contraction is basically the complete opposite. It's when you are lengthening the muscle. So if I'm from up here, if I bring my arm down, I'm lengthening my bicep muscle. So that would be an eccentric contraction for my bicep muscle. Very simple. An isometric muscular contraction is simply when you are contracting the muscle, but it is not being lengthened or shortened. So let's say that I had my arm like this, and I was holding up a weight, a dumbbell, then this would be an isometric contraction because I'm contracting the bicep muscle, but it's not lengthening or shortening. Very simple, okay? Now, it wouldn't be an isometric contraction if I was just leaving my hands like this because I'm not really contracting my bicep muscle. So it has to be a, a contraction in which you're not lengthening or shortening the muscle. All right, here's a dumbbell. Let's go over. Uh, a dumbbell bicep curl. Very simple, very straightforward, okay? If I were to curl the weight up, that would be a concentric muscular contraction for, for my bicep. Just like this. I am shortening the bicep muscle, okay? Then if I were to lower the weight, it would be an eccentric muscular contraction for my bicep because I'm lengthening the muscle. Just like that. If I were to get the weight and hold it right in the middle, just like this, this would be an isometric muscular contraction for my bicep because I'm contracting the bicep muscle, but I am not lengthening or shortening it, okay? Very simple, and that's basically it. That is concentric versus eccentric versus isometric muscular contractions. I have basically explained them in a very, very simplified manner, and I tried to make it as easy to understand as possible. So the next time that you go to the gym, the next time that you're doing resistance training or lifting weights, it's a good idea to at least know what you're doing and know what's going on with regards to the muscular contractions. And in this video, I have shown you exactly that. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.